This is Dave of Vital Limits, and this video is going to demonstrate the arrow flexing off of the rail when dynamic bend is located. So over in this video, as you see, towards the front part of the rail, you will start to see gap occur um, about when the veins uh, start to enter the front of the retainer clip area, uh, most dominant when the retainer clip area is by the knock. Um, this is more ideal. This is the arrow we, we want it to come off of the rail. We don't want to uh, we want to minimize any kind of chattering or pressures down on the rail uh, that can have issues. Here is just an overhead view of a 22 inch arrow with AV3 veins concept system. You see some of the uh, limb saver broadbands working in action. This is another angle from the front and high speed. Uh, these are AV3 veins on the arrow. You can see rotations start to happen. Uh, we'll have a better video of that coming up here shortly. All right, pay close attention. This is a 26 inch arrow, double concept system. Um, I would look in the area to string stop, look for the lines of the arrow. You will see flex occurring up. Um, from the rail, the, the arrow is really not touching most of the rail anyway because we have the micro adjust arrow rest on there that we set up from fire knock. But dynamic bend does still flex off, off of the rail. In this video example here, we have a 22 inch arrow built with AV3 veins. And you'll see the arrow start to rotate um, within the approximate area of the foot stirrup. Uh, you'll see it more dominantly happen uh, just a little bit past that, um, that the arrow starts to go into rotation. Anyone that doesn't uh, know the technical aspects of arrow veins, they are a straight fletch vein. It's based on a low speed airfoil design. Um, they do rotate uh, despite them being straight fletched. In this video, you'll see the arrow impact in a two liter dyed soda bottle. Um, the arrow is in rotation. You'll see hydrodynamic cavitation start to form. Um, again, this is at high speed. This, is, this happens very fast. Um, you'll notice all the uh, white uh, air bubbles forming in the bottle. Just also want to point out that on impact, um, the front of the arrow is very stable. Uh, the back of the arrow does have a little bit of a kick to it, which is to be expected. Uh, we do offer a 2.0 concept system, which dampens some of that out. When we put these concept systems in, um, not only does it stabilize the arrow um, as far as recovery and on impact, but there's less energy loss after impact. In this video over here, somewhere between 10 and 20 yards, you'll see the 22 inch badass X bolt with fire knock trauma hawk on it, 175 grain, straight fletch arrow vein threes, and a fire knock lit knock in flight. Hope everybody liked watching, got something out of this. Um, check out my website. Thanks.